Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've just tried to film this video like five times and there's a, there's again, it's doing my head in. Fly just keeps like hitting me in the face. Um, anyway, welcome if you are new here. Um, I'm Sherelle. This is my channel, Sherelle Thinks, where I talk about everything health anxiety related. And in this video, I specifically want to talk about a fast resting heart rate and what it means and why it happens and kind of like my own experience with it. So um, what I mean by a resting heart rate is it's the heart rate when you're not exercising, you're not walking, you're just sat still. That's your resting heart rate. Um, now, for a lot of people, um, it's going to be between 60 and 100. That is the normal kind of like threshold for um, a resting heart rate. Anything above 100 is considered tachycardia and anything below 60 is bradycardia. So um, generally, most people fall in between the 60 and 100 for their resting heart rate. So what I mean by that is there's no point, um, you know, checking your heart rate after you've just like done a load of walking. You kind of have to sit down, let yourself calm down for a bit and then you check it. So for a long, 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 long time, my resting heart rate was in the 120s um, and it was never really in the normal threshold for a heart rate. Um, and it used to really bother me because at that time I was having like palpitations as well. Um, and a lot of people, many, many people with anxiety will find their resting heart rate is above 100 so they are um what they're experiencing is tachycardia which is a faster than 100 beats per minute heartbeat now it can be really scary and it can feel like your heart's going to be out of control some people worry they're going to have a heart attack i remember that i was just i just felt like a ticking time bomb where my heart was just like constantly and no matter what I did in terms of like trying to breathe and trying to meditate, I could really, really get it below 100. I would sometimes get it into the 90s if I was lucky. Um, but it was it was almost always in the 100s. And I found that when I would go to A&E um, or when I would just go to my GP or whatever and they would check my heart rate, it would go like up to like 160. In fact, I remember this one time, I can't even remember why I had gone into a &E. It definitely wasn't anything to do with my heart. But I went in there and um, I put the put my finger in like the pulse monitor thing and the nurse almost jumped out of her seat because it was 174. So my heart, I was in complete panic mode. Um, so that's quite a common occurrence for me. And it's actually caused some problems because um, after I had my daughter, so this was like, you know, three, three and a half years ago, um, my heart rate was like 180 or something um, after I had given birth and my respiratory rate was also quite fast as well. I was breathing fast. And there's this new thing now in the UK called the sepsis pathway. And if you have two out of the three criteria, they have to treat you for sepsis. Um, even though you most likely don't have it, they still have to treat you as if you have it and they start you on IV antibiotics. So the three things are blood pressure, heart rate and respiratory rate. And because I had the high, um, sorry, I said blood pressure, I meant um, temperature. Um, because I had the high respiratory rate and high heart rate, um, they started me on the sepsis pathway, which meant that I was kept in for like three days um, and it turned out that I didn't have sepsis. Um, but I just could not bring my heart rate down. And I did explain to the nurse, you know, I have like really bad anxiety, but still. And that's happened quite a few times where I've gone in um, to Amy for something with my um, health anxiety and I've been kept overnight for observation because my heart rate is just so high. Um, some people, um, my auntie included, find that they actually get a low heart rate, especially when they're having a panic attack and then it feels like their heart is about to stop. Um, and I imagine, I mean, I've never had that. I've always had the fast heart rate. But I imagine that that is just as terrifying, you know. Anything to do with our heart is going to freak us out. And the problem is, is the more we freak out, 
the faster that heart rate is going to get. So the reason why it happens is because our heart and our heartbeat is one of the main things that goes erratic when we are stressed. So, um, and the reason for that is that the body thinks that there's a threat. The body believes that there is danger. So it starts to really try and pump the blood really fast around our body so that we can react um, and we can act accordingly. Um, but of course, as human beings and as conscious human beings, we can do that through thought alone. So it would be a completely reasonable um, response to have a high heart rate when you're about to like run from a lion or something. That's what you need. You need that blood. You know, you want it pumped around your hands and you want your eyes to dilate and you want to be alert and ready to fight or flight. But the problem being is that we can be sat there in our living room thinking about an interview at the end of the week and our body will react in the exact same way as if there is a lion standing in front of us. So having a high heart rate with anxiety is super, super common. In fact, it's probably one of the most um, well-known and common anxiety symptoms that people get a racing heart. It's been explained in literature for hundreds of years. Um, it's a well-known nervous stressed symptom. And, you know, it's really hard to sometimes to try and bring that heart rate down. Um, you know, I used to really try and do all of this deep breathing and meditate. And I would be able to bring it down somewhat. But I found that for a long time, my heart rate was just consistently in the 100s, just because I just could not calm myself down. Um, some people do find, though, that breathing exercises can really, really help. Some people find they're getting fresh air. Some people find that dunking themselves in a cold shower everybody's going to be totally different and um, for me the only thing that seemed to calm me down was to like get into bed curl up under my duvet and just try my hardest to relax and sometimes that would 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 help me um but you know if you I mean first and foremost when it comes to the heart well and anything really obviously always always get yourself checked first get the all clear um, you know, you want your doctor to say that it's anxiety and it's not a heart problem before you kind of ignore it. Um, so that's the first thing I put I want to get across. But um, for me now, when my heart races, I accept that this is a symptom of my anxiety. Um, and I kind of just acknowledge it. And I'm like, oh, OK, my my body is anxious. I'm feeling anxious right now. So my heart is going to race. And I try and sit with it um, and I try not to fight it because when I would try and fight it, it would just make it, my heart rate would get faster and faster and faster. And um, I, I remember that one time when I was in A&E with like the 174 um, heart rate, I genuinely thought my heart was going to explode. It was just like, it was so fast um, it was, and I could feel it. It was horrible, the palpitations that was coming with it. And I was also having like ectopic beats and, oh, it was just awful, you know. And um, that kind of went on for me for a long time. And, and I still do get um, palpitations now. But surprisingly, my heart rate the last year or so has been consistently in the 60s as a resting heart rate, which is like unheard of for me. So, um I, I'm really pleased with that and I take that as a sign that I've really got my anxiety under control because my body is comfortable. Um, and yes, of course, I still have the odd panic and stuff, but um, just to see that my heart rate is now at a level where I kind of want it, um, that feels good. I will say, though, some people do just have a faster than normal heart rate and that can be quite normal for them. I think the key is that you got to figure out what's your normal. Um, there's no point kind of judging your heart rate for the first time at a time when you're stressed because you don't actually know what your heart rate was before. Um, so for me, I think that when I'm stressed, I immediately go above 100 beats per minute. That's just kind of like my thing. Um, when I am truly, 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 truly relaxed um, and I have no stresses, um, I seem to run at about the 60s. Um, but yeah, for, for literally, I would say it was probably almost a year, my heart rate was, was rest and heart rate of about 110 or something like that, which is just crazy, you know, to think that my heart was beating that fast all day, every day, um, from, from pure and utter stress and anxiety. So 
you know, if you have a high resting heart rate, firstly, get it checked, of course. Um, but secondly, once you get the all clear, there's a few things that you can try to bring that heart rate down. But I think the most important thing is just acceptance that this is an anxiety symptom and also acceptance of the fact that this is probably going to hang around until you no longer fear it. So fear is always a thing that holds our symptoms there. Um, the reason why I think mine went on for so long is because I was so terrified of there being something wrong with my heart. I was so terrified that of why my heart was beating so fast. But once I kind of surrendered to it and I just sort of thought, well, this is exactly like having a stomach ache. This is exactly like having headaches or any other anxiety symptom. And this is something that I probably just need to accept for the time being and learn to sit with it, even though it feels scary and it feels uncomfortable. And when I was finally able to do that, and it took me a long time, um, my heart rate literally went down within the space of a couple of weeks um, because I was no longer afraid and I was no longer in that heightened state of complete stress. My nervous system had really calmed down and I just felt like I was operating on um, just a, a more relaxing level. So um, if you have any crazy stories of your heart rate being stupidly high, <laughs> like mine was, please pop them below in the comments. I, I always love to read your stories, even if I don't get to reply to them all. I always read like every comment. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you um, want to be um, updated with my new videos. Um, if you are looking for a health anxiety membership or you want to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis, you can do that via the Patreon, um, my Patreon. The link is below in the description of this video. Um, take care, everybody. Hope to see you soon. Bye.